Hey guys and gals, Malcolm from 1874, coming back at you with a new series called Satisfactory. Today, the alpha release was made. Everybody that signed up for the alpha release, which included me, uh, was giving a key for a free weekend, and I am playing this today for the free weekend, and I'm hopefully going to get a couple videos out on this to see, show you guys the gameplay video, and hopefully me too to see some of uh, the gameplay of what's going on. Obviously, I've never really played this again before, so what's going on right now. We're landing on a planet. Uh, think of Satisfactory as Factorio. Same idea, but in 3D it's instead of 2D, like you're looking over uh, the 2D world of Factorio, this is 3D. So, the integrity turn is down my ear. Is at 100%. There we go. So yeah, this is a 3D world. Same Remember, idea. Efficiency first. Uh, what, what are the games like Factory? Like, you know, kind of like Minecraft, but not really. Uh, what's that other game? I can't think of it right now. Oh, let's look around. Well, we'll just get into playing here. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. I'm just gonna listen to this. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Note: Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I have no idea. First objective: Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, Fixit Incorporated is cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. All right, so that's basically uh, the start of the tutorial. Uh, we, we came down from space into uh, landing here from this little drop pod here. Uh, the basic premise or premise, I should say premise, the premise of this game is to uh, build a factory. Again, like Factorio, if you've ever played Factorio, only this is 3D, and it's probably not as complicated as Factorio, but uh, it, you know, I've been waiting for this game for a long time. I actually signed up for the alpha uh, test, you know, with a whole NDA and all that stuff, but I never got into that. But everybody that did sign up for that did end up getting this free weekend for actually trying to sign up for it. So I, I'm, and there's no NDA, so anybody and everyone that actually got the keys could actually do videos, which is what I'm doing right now. So uh, it wants me to dismantle this, so it's uh, press F to enter dis dismantle mode, which looks like I bring that out. And then, there we go, got rid of it. That's cool. Oh, the graphics Second look great. Oh, man, I'm so excited Please ensure for this you have your fix it incorporated. Uh, this is an Zeno's alpha. Zapper, equipped before leaving the drop zone. Okay, Note, I'll, I'll listen to According that. to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. All right. So anyway, uh, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So, uh, so we have to, you know, walk around on this 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 planet that we lived in. We have we work for this uh, this corporation, and we have to make a factory, and that's the whole idea of you know building automation in factories and stuff like that, which is my favorite type of game, by the way. Uh, so. We'll see how it goes. And so right now I have to hit the tab key to open my inventory. And I take it, this is the Xeno Zapper, which helps protect me against the bad, bad things by shocking them. Third objective, please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. I like how it zaps yourself. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Oh, so there you go. So uh, just like any other game, we have resources we have to go after. So right now it wants me to find iron, and I have to press the C key to hit the scan for resources. Uh, hold E to gather resource from deposits, and iron ore will be needed for crafting. So that's, so we need that. So I'll hit the C key, and I'll choose iron ore. And you have a little toolbar on the top there, which shows your, your uh, like your north, south, and west. So it's... It says there's an iron deposit that way, and there was a second one. There's another one to the south. So there's one to the north and to the south. I'm pretty sure that where we're landed right now is uh, uh, the same thing. Everything. Actually, let me go over something here. Let me do this. All right, so I'm back. I just wanted to get this. We'll head for that way until we find the node. I can, th I can see it up there anyway. So uh, 
So this is the alpha test weekend version. It, will, it actually contains a limited content. It only has uh, the first three research tiers in it. I believe uh, when they release this in early access, we will actually get uh, six of them. And early access is going to come out next week, I believe. But right now, this is just you know, what we're playing here. Let me get these things here first. Some of these flowers. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish. I know for f I've seen some uh, some of the videos of people playing this, so I know what this all this stuff is for. I need it. I need it later for fuel, for biofuel, I believe. So I do have a little bit of knowledge coming into this, which is always good when you uh, before you play a game is to find out a little bit of it, so you don't look like a complete dumbass when you're playing this it. This consumable possesses Let's minor see. healing properties. Boy, that, I'm going to have to hit that C key again because I think I lost where... Yeah, it's that way. I'll say, yeah, so... Uh, uh, let's see... Yeah, so that's it. So it is a limited thing. Like I said, you only get the first three tiers of the research in here for this weekend, which, I mean, are we going to get that much farther anyway? Uh, oh! So that's a monster. Ow. All right. Well, our first combat. Ah. Just got to get used to how this works. Studying the remains so there's of this the creature iron. might shed light on how to defend yourself in Actually, the future. Actually, uh, <laughs> I recommend took some analysis. damage down there. My health down there. Went down three bars by the looks of it. I have to find out how to get that back. So this is iron. Uh, this is this is a pure node, and this is impure. So that probably just means uh, I don't know. There's another one over here. Impure, pure. What is? Does that mean you just let's see one hit? Oops, no E. So that was one. That was two, so fourth objective. Build the hub. Oh, so no. that's the difference to there. This objective, the resources salvaged so if you just saw that will be consumed. You get one for Caution. doing impure. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron. Six houses. for Failure doing the pure do ones. So will likely result in non optimal progress. Are these endless? Oh so, nope, I guess not. Okay, so I broke the hopefully that I didn't need that. So I'll just keep doing this. I'm gonna get myself a bunch of ore down there. It says I'm at fifty-five. Again, you know you guys gotta bear with me, you just like you gotta bear with anybody else that's playing this game. None of us know how to play it, so we're all learning. I don't know how much I need. I think I'll do sixty-five and then I'll do the next part which is says which is uh, build the hub, which if you remember we got the, the hub blueprint from the hub parts from our, sh our landing pod there when we uh, we dissected that so we got to find a place to put it and they said place it next to uh, one of these iron nodes for you can actually do things so I wonder if I put it up here actually I do kind of want a nice view which would be nice so I can climb down here I'm sure we're going to have some machinery that we're going to have to put on these nodes to uh, mine them automatically and have conveyor belts and all that stuff. So yeah, this game this game has the conveyor belts. You know, you got to uh, mine your ores, you got to uh, uh, convert them and uh, refine them and all that stuff. So I think I'm going to put that right... Oh, this looks like a good spot right here. So you can uh, find build by pressing the Q. So if I want to build the hub, which that looks pretty damn cool. The heart of your factory, this is where you complete uh, fix, uh, fix it milestones to unlock additional blueprints of buildings, vehicles, and equipment. So I am going to build that. Oh, there it is. So it looks like when it's red, you can't place it down. Very similar to Space Engineers. Uh, you use the scroll key to rotate it either way, up or down. And you can place it any way you, kind of anywhere you want. Now I'm taking, I'm going to need some space around it, right? So I'm going to go just like that. There we go. Oh. So there's the hub. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Yay. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective. 
Hub upgrade, storage and power. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. So I do know what to do on this a little bit. I, I did watch this part. So uh, you can, this is where you do your research. You go into here and you have uh, your, your different tiers. Like I said, we can only do one, two, three, uh, four. I thought it said only, we can only do three. Maybe this doesn't count as a tier. We're already at tier zero. So maybe that's weird. Unavailable in alpha. Huh, that's weird. But anyway, uh, and there's milestone. So this is where we do our research, but we can't do anything yet because we haven't done a few other things. This is the crafting bench. The whole thing is your crafting bench. If you hit E, you go into it, and this is where you can convert your iron ingots into things like, uh, oh, actually, we need to convert our uh, iron uh, ore into iron ingots, which says right here we have 65, so I'll just click on that. And then you have to hold it down to craft it. I'm holding... Uh, the left click key here down on this craft part right here which is just crafting everything and I'll just I gotta say for an alpha game it looks good it seems like it works pretty well uh, they did a lot of testing with it I know that it was it was quite a long testing period I think it was uh, when did they do it like September October or something like that so now if you I converted all that to iron ingots now I can make iron plates and iron rods so let's see what it's going to actually cost us to upgrade this. It wants us to upgrade the hub by using the hub terminal craft parts at the crafting bench. So now I'm going to look in here. Now I should be able to uh, hub upgrade. And we, oh, see, now this now I'm seeing everything. Uh, this is everything we can build. So it's act, act, asking us that we need 10 iron rods to actually do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to grab some iron rods and I'm going to build 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then I'm going to go, oops. I want to keep doing that because I'm too used to other games right now. Okay. So there's our 10. I think if we select milestone. Oh, so you actually have to put that in here. And then hub upgrade. Okay, there we go. So there we go. We just upgraded and we got... Oh, what's this? Okay, so this is a... Oh, that's cool. I'm Congratulations. Gonna put... You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. Hub feature personal storage. Scanner feature copper. Cool. New equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench, respectively. Nice. So I'm just going to put some of this stuff. Sixth in... objective hub upgrade construction. All right. Note connect buildings to a generator for power. Okay. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Okay. Advice, <laughs> automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Man, they definitely, the, the game is definitely guiding you through it, that's for sure. They did a good job on that so far. All right, so I'm going to put that in there. I'm not going to put those. Maybe I'll put the wood. All right. So I'm going to get it like that. So over here, now we have this added part. This is the biomass burner and let's just take a look at it i don't have any recipes names or oh so we got megawatts that's good at least they're using common terminology that i understand like space engineers does and well i think what we need is we need to go find copper because we're going to make have to make wire cable obviously we're gonna have to make some of that so if i hit my c key i should have copper ore now that i can look for so So I actually have some copper. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I only have I have copper like right here. I have my iron over there and I have copper right here. So maybe I did, you know, choose a good place. So this again is used for biomass. So I'm gonna need this stuff. Uh, let's go up here. Keep my weapon out in case I meet some of those. Oh, like there's one right there. And he's done. All right. So let's come back up here. I'll grab some of this. I'll just grab this node, I guess. Same idea. You get six per hit on this one, or six per cycle, I should say. I don't know how much of this stuff. Obviously, you're going to need a lot because you're trying to make a factory. But there we go. I got that. And I'll grab some from here, too. 
I'll do 65 on this too. That's what we did last time, right? 64, 60. Oh, actually, 66. Wow, I was getting two out of that time. That time, I thought it was one for the iron. Uh, what's this thing over here? This looks like a plant I can grab. Oh, leaves and wood. That was a combination. And obviously, my base is right there. But if you look at my toolbar up there, I can get back to it by following it that way. I'm just kind of looking around a little bit. What is that over there? That looks. Is there stone in this game too? Because initial that... scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Okay. What is this? Can we find this? No. So what is this? It's limestone. I have no idea if I need this, but I'm gonna grab it. Why not, right? I'm over here. Wait, is this a limestone thing? Oh, one thing I do want to check. Let me go, let me hit C again. All right, so that does work, okay. All right, we'll grab that. I know it doesn't say that I need this yet, but why not grab it when I see it, right? 84, 90. All right, I'll do 102 for now. All right, I'm gonna run back home. It looks like it's getting dark out, which is different. I do have a light on here, right? Yeah. If you look down in there in the lower, what is that, right-hand corner, you have the shortcuts, and it looks like uh, Q is for uh, your build menu, obviously, and you have F, that is for your de deconstruction. You have V, which is my flashlight. I have C, which we know what that is. X is mail, uh, which gives us all these different things. Plus, there's some more tutorials in here we can look up if we need to do it. I won't bore you guys with that. And tab is obviously my inventory. There we go. So let's get back over here, and we'll convert that all to what we need. I'm going to jump up. Uh, e... So we're going to do this to copper ingots. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to hold this down. So yeah, again, this this uh, test is going from 5 p.m. UTC Friday, which is which was yesterday for you guys, and it's going to Monday, 5 p.m. UTC. So I, I'll get a good weekend out of this. Maybe two or three videos, maybe more. I'll probably try to release some. I just try to I'm just gonna play this all in one big thing you know I'll just keep playing it and then just keep making videos I don't know how long I'll make them but uh, we'll see all right so what does our thing say <clears throat> we did that build an equipment workshop where you can craft equipment like portable miner oh so we go so we need a portable miner so I need to make an equipment workshop so what do we need for that let's look in here tier zero uh, let's see equipment workshop um, already unlocked so that I have to go into queue equipment workshop so I need six and six okay so that's just iron so I'll make one two three four five six and then iron rods six now I should be able to make that queue equipment workshop Valid location. Oh, so you can do that. So what does this say? Left mouse, left mouse button is build. Right mouse button return to build menu. Scroll is rotate. Hold control to snap to uh, grid line. Hmm. There's a grid line there. Let's try it this way. Hold control. Well, I'm holding control. I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to be snapping it doesn't seem like it's snapping I mean it's fitting but it's not really snapping uh, let me turn it around here maybe that's the problem am I even straight I can't tell well let's go back up here it doesn't seem to matter where I am oh oh I really don't think the snapping things working because I'm doing the same thing by just going like this Oh, I'll get it as close as I can then. I want it to look kind of cool. There we go. Oh, that 
doesn't look all that close, but whatever. Okay, so we made the equipment shop. And I'll get out of here. So now, build the equipment workshop uh, it, uh, where you can craft equipment like the portable miner. So now we're in here, so we should be able to build stuff like, oh, there it is, the portable miner, which cost uh, portable miner four iron plate, four wire, and f I mean eight wire and four cable. Okay, four, eight, four. All right, let's see if we can do this. Four. One, two, three, four. I need eight copper wire. One, two, three, four. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. And let me guess. You need wire to make that, don't you? Yep. All right. So I will make... That many. And then I will make... What do I need? Four. There we go. Uh, let's, you know, actually we need copper and iron, so let's make two of them then. So, let me go back to iron plate. What I need, eight of them. There, and then we'll make cables. We'll make another four, which will be eight. Eight and eight, twenty, four. Yep, we should be good. And then we'll come over here. And portable miner, I'll craft one. And I'll craft the other one. So now we have two. Let me turn that light on and see how well that works. Oh, look at that. Uh, so the iron is this way, correct? Correct Correct. Correct me if I'm correct. Or I'll jump down here. So where is that? Is that two? No. Oh, do I have to go to tab? Put my portable miner down. Let me see. Hmm. How does this work? Oh, maybe I have to do the build menu. Q. No, special. Hmm. Okay, build an equipment. Equip portable miner and place it on a resource node. So, I'm not quite understanding this, but I try to. Oh, maybe I gotta put it in my hand? There we go. Cool. All right. And press E to hold to pick up iron ore. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. I'll go over that in a second. I just want to see this. Cool animation. And this is why I've been dying for this game. It's because of this. <laughs> just the cool animations they have and the cool stuff they can do. So how I got that to work is I went into tab and I grabbed the portable miner and I dragged it into this slot right here, which hooked it up, which actually moved it down to my hand. I don't know. I couldn't actually put it in my hand. Let me see. Let me try this again. Could I? Oh, you can. All right. So it's the same thing. So now we'll go to the copper one, which is this way. That way I'll have one on the copper and one on the iron. Maybe I should make two of these. I have two iron nodes and I'll throw two. I mean, I'm sure you can throw more than one. It doesn't look like it takes up any space. But this is just a way to automate. Oh, where was that? Did I lose it? Okay. Let's do C, copper. Oh, there it is. It's actually really close to the base. And... There we go. I'll throw this down. Again, I'll just watch this because it's just so cool to watch. Nice. God, it's so awesome. And that's just the, that's the first thing you can make. Guys, definitely check this game out. It's definitely, if you're into these type of games like I am, and obviously if you're watching this video, you are, um, I would highly suggest uh, at least thinking about getting this game. I mean, it's not out yet technically, and if you're like, if you're a distractor to uh, early, uh, early, um, early access type games, then obviously don't get it. You can wait. But you know, I've been playing early access games for a long time, and I got a feeling that this is going to be my next Space Engineers, my next Kerbal Space Program. I really do, because it just, it just seems so fun. Or my next Minecraft, you know. So uh, you know, the games that have kept my interest for years, not just 
months or days so yeah i'm really excited about that i'm really excited about the, this game I, w I really wish i could have got in on the the play testing before but i never could oh so something i just noticed is that i didn't get a um, a marker over there so i don't know how to make a marker uh i haven't seen like you know like a gps marker so i guess i'm gonna have to remember where that is <clears throat> so we'll finish this up and then i'll end this video and then i'll start making another one so I did the miner, so now it says build smelters to automate production of ingots. Use biomass burner for power supply. So I did see what did that cost? That cost Ah, oh, that's a portable miner. Where did I see that? I need a smelter. How do we make a smelter? I think that's in the queue, isn't it? Yeah, the smelter right here. So that takes five and four and eight so i'm gonna i'm going to make that i'm just gonna make a few iron plate i only have 10 left by the way but i'm actually making more so i'm just gonna make all these up was it iron or iron rods Ooh, i don't know and i'm gonna make some wire there we go i think that's all i needed i'll find out here in a second Smelter was oh it was those so let me just go grab some I should have some in here anyway right because I did I do have one of these down I'm gonna throw some more of these down later so what do we got here pick up no I got 78 so that's cool right that's just more than I got my first time so there you go that's how your first that's not really automated because it's not sending the stuff my way but here we go. And I will have to make this into iron ingots. This is the part we're trying to do now is the part where I'm doing right now where I'm holding this button down. We want to get the smelters going. Uh, so I probably want two smelters, don't I? So for I can do iron and uh, you probably want more than one for each thing. But for now, I think we'll do two smelters, one for copper, one for iron. And then we'll work on the power thing. And then we'll end the video and I'll move on down to 16, 15, oh god i don't know I'll, maybe some of you guys find this boring but i find this fun this is this stuff is fun to me uh this i'm gonna make i'm gonna make 12 of these because what was it for i don't know and i think i have to throw these down on well i'll build one for now just to see what wow they're big so maybe i don't need it and it looks like it has an entrance point an entrance and an exit so that's obviously where the conveyors go so where is i'm wondering if i should because i believe yep so that is uh that and then the iron is this way i wonder if let's do the iron first so iron comes this way what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of try to set this up now i'm just looking at the uh the power goes through the top by the looks of it and uh the conveyor entrance when we have conveyors will go uh, to the right there and to the left the blue one is looks like the exit so i'm just going to go just like this place that down nice oops so build smelters to automate production of ingots so it doesn't have power yet so it doesn't actually work oh wow this is cool so we'll need the power, which I take it that this means it has no power. And it's the conveyors. All right. So let's jump up here. And what was I doing? I need to make, I need to do power. So how do we do power? Use biomass burner f for power supply. So I don't know how this works. I've never seen this work for before. So I never really uh, messed with it. So do I just throw stuff in here and I get power? That. So I'm getting 20 megawatts, less than a second. So how do things get powered? Use biomass burner for power supply. I did that. Okay, that's interesting. Again, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this. Is, does this have a power output? Is this thing powered now? I doubt it because I think you need to power it somehow maybe i shouldn't have put this here maybe i should have had it close to the base hmm so i'll have to probably figure that out let me 
what was that what I looked I looked at uh, oh was it the tab key or the X key uh, tutorials production power systems power is generated by generators which can consume different resources depending on type you can build power poles and connect them with the power lines to create oh so there must be a power pole that I can make is it in here I don't there was only one thing in here and this is where I'm gonna start stumbling uh, the portable miner is it in the Q menu oh power power line oh so how do we make that we need Oh, I should have plenty of that. Let's, uh, power line. I think I have some, actually. In my hot bar there, I have... So do I go, like, oh! Ah, so I need cables. All right. So, okay. All that. That makes so much sense now. All right. It's funny how that works. So how do I get out of here? Q or escape? Okay, there we go. I'm going to go into here. So I need to make cables. So let's make some cables. I'm going to craft. I'm going to do six of them. You need cables for the wires. That makes so much sense, doesn't it, guys? So there we go. There's that. And I'm going to connect it to this. So there we go. That is now. Oh, man. And this is why I say I love this. Did that just say I can't hook it up? Oh, you can't connect more lines. All right, so this is all set. Am I out of power? Nope. So that should be powering everything. It's actually working now. So let's go grab some more iron, huh? I don't need a conveyor to put that in there, do I? Can I just grab this? I got 100. So, can I have that now? Oh yeah, put it right in here. So it looks like it only picks up 100 iron, by the way, and it stops and then it restarts, so make sure you grab that. So let's go grab that, uh, let's go grab this other thing over here. And what are we at? We're at 32 minutes. I'm gonna come up this way. I'm gonna grab everything in here for this starts back up again. There we go. And we'll go check this out, see how well it works. Oh my god, I, I've been waiting for this forever. Just to see this stuff up like in 3D, not you know, you're looking over some 2D map of it. Alright, so can I right click on this? I can. And so what do I do now? Iron it gets. So you put the iron ore in there. So I'm gonna put the iron ore in there. And there you go. Oh, what does it look like when it's refining? Oh, when you got is actually doing its thing. Oh man, that's awesome. So that's what the green light means. That is just like at work, man. Green lights means it's running. Red lights means it's down. I have to go run over there and fix the machine for them. <laughs> so uh, awesome. Like I'm, I'm, I'm living work right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, fun, fun. All right, so there you go, guys. So we we did. Uh, I must not have completed everything. Complete hub. Oh, I do have to upgrade hub number two. So I think we'll do that when I come back the next episode. So until then, guys, this is Malkuth 1974. Uh, we'll see you next time. Malkuth, out of here.